I love Oprah. Don't get me wrong. I think she's a wonderful woman. I think she's a powerful force of good and positive energy. But she ain't no Elon. <laughs> but she also brought us Dr. Oz and The Secret. We, we, have, we have to remember what this lady has done. She has to be held accountable. <laughs> I forgive her, but I mean, cut the shit. The Secret is a particularly egregious uh, offense. Why you don't you just? Oh, you don't believe? You don't, you don't believe? Uh, Joe Rogan has just revealed Oprah Winfrey's horrifying agenda as he also talked about Oprah finally getting cancelled. Joe Rogan is known for exposing the truth and providing us with authentic information. In the case of Oprah, Joe Rogan has done the same and he has exposed Oprah for spreading false information on her show just to get views and she has also been involved in many wrongdoings. Now she is exposed as Cat Williams has informed us that 2024 is an exposing year for all controversial individuals i will beat my wings until i take off what's up yeah it was one of the more dis confu i want to say disturbing but it was confusing when that was taking hold with people when I, I i had friends that were telling me that the secret is real and that they imagined they were going to fulfill these childhood dreams that they had had yeah. about whatever being a fucking astronaut whatever whatever it would be there's a couple people that I knew that were trying to tell me that the secret was going to be the thing and that they had a vision board and they had photographs they put pictures up of the things that they wanted uh -huh. oprah winfrey has been getting exposed now as all the controversies came out about her one of them is that she has been spreading wrong information on her show about health and other serious topics joe roger has exposed her by telling her that she has spread false information about mdma on her show just to get views she has shown fake women on her show and predicted that she has holes in her brains we should talk about this while while we're being brought because there's a common misconception about mdma that has been been uh, proven to be false and it, it was like that it makes holes in your brain well yes yeah you, yeah um, Oprah is a big uh, person responsible for that actually um, so um, there was uh, it started on MTV and went to Oprah this is around 2001 so what had happened was that there was a young woman who, um, who her mother worked at a drug abuse treatment center short time after that Oprah decides that she's gonna do a show and she contacts me and, and us because we are now you know advocates and she, she knew about what we we're doing and we we're trying to start MDMA research she, she says she, she her team says that the, they want to do two shows on ecstasy it's such a big thing they want to do one on the risks and one on the benefits and I'm like great sounds great and they said well we're gonna do the one on the risks first and they they brought this woman who had all these holes in the brain supposedly to be um, on the show. Oprah Winfrey on her talk show, which people used to like so much at that time, has invited controversial guests on her shows. One of the examples is Christiane Northrup, who has claimed to be a women's health expert. She has made such statements on her show that were totally unacceptable. She has said that love can cure AIDS in women. She also has made many controversial statements that can be bad for women's health. This shows that Oprah doesn't care about what she is showing. She just wants views. Part 5. Another person who was a constant and controversial guest on The Oprah Winfrey Show was self-proclaimed women's health expert Christiane Northrup. Some of Christiane's theories that were presented as facts on The Oprah Winfrey Show was her beliefs that love could heal AIDS, that mammograms are inherently unsafe for women to undergo, and that thyroid issues in women is caused from women not speaking enough. Those kinds of guests were frequent flyers on The Oprah Winfrey Show, which in hindsight was extremely irresponsible of Oprah to do. As Oprah would find herself wrapped in one of the biggest scandals of her career that has been beautifully swept under the rug by her top of the line PR team. In 2007, Oprah Winfrey opened the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa. This was an all girls school that hosted girls in grades 8th through 12th. Oprah made the decision to open this school for girls in South Africa after having a long conversation with Nelson Mandela, who was the president of South Africa at the time. Joe Rogan has criticized Oprah Winfrey on his podcast, raising several controversial points. One notable instance was when he discussed the book The Secret, which Oprah promoted as a way to achieve success through positive thinking and visualization. Did you see Oprah fall down? Yes, and it's honestly... She's a, a little love old it. to be falling down. You I, loved it? I loved it. Wow. Loved it. She you didn't like get hurt. People get hurt. She's fine. She's dead. 
She died? Yes. All right. Ding dong. The witch no, is dead. She did. No, she, if she did. And I was if she died from a fall. About her. Yeah, we're fucked. No, she didn't die. No, she's fine. I just think like. She looks like she got hurt. It's nice to see billionaires fall. Oh. How about that? Well, that's weird. It's nice to see somebody hit. No, it humanizes her. She is mm. such a figure of perfection. Oprah Winfrey, a prominent TV personality and entertainment icon, has faced various allegations throughout her career. Additionally, there have been accusations from individuals like Rose McGowan, who criticized Oprah on Twitter. What, what was Oprah's rationale when she said, you don't want to be the president? Like, what was she saying? Because remember when people were saying that that's our next president? Remember when Trump got elected? You know, they showed Oprah and they were saying like there was I believe it was like NBC tweeted it. This is our next president. Like they a lot of people wanted Oprah to want to run. And they felt like if Trump could win, Oprah could win. When I saw Trump win, I was like, see, you can win. I, you know, I was um, you can win if you're coming from outside of politics. Monique has made bold claims about Oprah Winfrey and her actions behind closed doors. According to Monique, Oprah has been using her immense power and influence for personal gain at the expense of others. These accusations have caused a stir in the media and have sparked conversations about accountability and integrity in the entertainment industry. The industry is often perceived as a glamorous and exciting world filled with glitz, glamour and success. But as an artist, they have to face numerous challenges challenges and obstacles in their career due to the cutthroat nature of the business. Sadly, this dark side is not limited to just artists, but extends to all those involved in creating and promoting music. Many individuals behind the scenes also face exploitation and mistreatment in pursuit of success. I know you haven't always loved the internet. Uh, how are you seeing progress right now with all of that? Can you use it to your advantage? Um. It's a double-edged sword, you know. A lot of artists aren't getting paid full scale for their art, and the internet, because of downloading and things like that, is kind of like a black hole, and it's hard to audit, it's hard to get accounting, and it's not that it's just about the money, but it's about justice and fairness, and when people say that they love you and they respect you, but at the same time take, you know, 80% of your earnings, then and then expect you to fix your own communities and they'll probably edit all of this out but <laughs> then it gets that's that's the sharp part of the sword and we're at the wrong end of it right now so eventually with courageous people going out there and actually saying something and standing up for it i think we'll get some Balance. Furthermore, Dwayne Johnson and Oprah Winfrey faced backlash after launching the People's Fund of Maui in late August. The fund aimed to directly support adults displaced by the deadly wildfires that had ravaged Lahaina and Kula in Maui. Oprah has been loved by the public for her generosity, but now with one move of generosity, she's angered Hawaiians. Oprah recently announced with Dwayne Johnson they will be donating $10 million to help recovery from the fires going on in Maui. So the Maui fires are the worst natural disaster in American history, with 115 confirmed dead so far and 385 people still missing. For Oprah, she's had a mixed reaction in Hawaii where she wasn't allowed into a shelter for people who lost their homes due to the fire. That's because even though she was going to the shelter to hand out supplies, the staff wouldn't let her in because she wanted to bring her camera crew in as well and they thought it would disturb the victims. Oprah did eventually go in, but it was reported she spent over an hour arguing trying to get her camera crew to go in as well. What's caused the main criticism in Hawaii is Oprah owns 830 acres of land there, which Oprah calls Oprah's farm. Oprah was criticized for doing because the average home price in Hawaii is the highest in the United States, being $836,000 on average. Oprah only lives in Hawaii for a couple months of the year, so this angers many Hawaiians feeling this land could be used to house thousands of people. When Oprah did her live stream with Dwayne Johnson, she was criticized by people for not letting victims use her land as shelter. Hey, she still contributed $5 million with Adam Charles Barlow subscribe to learn something. Critics on social media questioned why the wealthy celebrities were asking for public donations instead of contributing more from their personal wealth. Breaking news, Oprah Winfrey and The Rock pledged $10 million for the Maui fire victims. Now, a lot of people have been asking my opinion on this. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not a fan of this at all. First of all, pledging isn't giving the victims any money. It's just saying you're going to. And also, they're not giving money out of their bank accounts. They're opening up a charity and asking you for your money. And then they can take credit for it. I mean, I find it hilarious that one billionaire and one multi-millionaire is asking the common folk for charity donations. I don't know, if you guys really cared about the issue, you'd spend money out of your own bank account and not ask poorer people than you to help take care of the bill. 
Like, it's kind of sad that they are asking for charity and then they're going to take credit for it. It's like, oh, hey, could you give me $10 million and then I'm going to take credit for it and let everyone know, like, look at how good of a person I am. I sent Also, people often contend that Oprah Winfrey lacks discernible talent, yet her immense wealth and influence persist. Yep, I'd be smiling like that too if I got land for sale. They both are like, <laughs> 16 more acres for us for half the price. <laughs> But what, what is her talent? What is Oprah's talent? I can only recall one moment from that show all these years. It's like, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car? You know, the thing about that one is they actually didn't get a, they got a car, but they had to pay for that car. Yeah, you get the car, but on the way I'll pay for that shit, hmm? Yeah. Otherwise, fuck, get the keys back. Dummy, ain't no shit for free. Except the land that she has acquired. Yeah. 2.8 billion dollars? Whoa, 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 calm down. That's not all the money that I have. I have way more than that, probably. She's not pretty. Oprah has addressed allegations that are circulating about her on social media. People believe that she has been doing this because she knows that now she is going to be exposed. Many celebrities and victims that have been mistreated by Oprah are now speaking about her and what she has done. They didn't use the word sexual abuse. They implied that something inappropriate was going on. Hearing that, John Samuel, uh, immediately after hearing that allegation, removed the accused tiny Makopo from the campus. I was needless to say devastated and, and really shaken to my core when I first heard this news. And uh, immediately within the first hour of receiving this information, I contacted here in the United States, Dr. Bruce Perry, who is founder of the Child Trauma Academy in Houston, Texas. And Dr. Perry informed me that the law in the United States requires that one must report, even if you suspect uh, child abuse, it must be reported to the Child Protective Services. And so he said, if I were you, I would confirm if that is also the law in South Africa, which I did. And uh, first thing Monday morning, I contacted Superintendent Needling and told him that I wasn't sure what had happened but there was a suspicion on the part of the girls of some type of sexual abuse. I told uh, Andre Neatling that I wanted to conduct an, an independent investigation to determine what exactly had happened and that I would appreciate his advice and his guidance in this matter. Critics have long pointed out that Oprah Winfrey has supported various controversial figures and actions throughout her career. These allegations highlight instances where Oprah's associations and endorsements have raised eyebrows. So this is what so many people don't understand. A big part of the confusion and shame for child victims is that the attention and the seduction from the predator, who is probably going to be somebody you know. Right. In order for it to work, it has to be somebody you know, somebody you admire, somebody you respect, or maybe even love. And it feels good. I mean, if you're seven years old and somebody, which I was trying to say this to my friends who had children, you're seven years old and someone is stroking your it feels good. Yeah. And when I first said this years ago, people were like, you're crazy because everybody wants to believe it's like sexual assault and you're being thrown up against the wall and you're being raped. And I have said for years, if the abuser is any good, it you won't even know it's happened. You will be in it and you won't even know it's happened. And if the abuser is any good, he or she is going to make you feel like you're a part of it. Oprah Winfrey faced significant backlash on social media for her delayed response to the allegations against Harvey Weinstein. Despite her prominent platform and advocacy for women's rights, critics were quick to note her silence until directly questioned by an anchor. Let's talk about what's happening with Harvey Weinstein. I know you posted on Facebook already, but you haven't kind of spoken yet publicly mm -hmm. about what's going on. I think that this is I'm always trying to look for the rainbow in the cloud, the whatever is the silver lining. And this is what I do know for sure. When something this major happens, when you have the fallout, 50 women coming forward, that it's a watershed moment. And what I do believe is actually happening is that 
First of all, it's triggering a lot of unreleased pain, guilt, and suffering that a lot of women have had. I happened to be on set with several actresses the other day, and we were filming some things, and they were like, they were hadn't slept over a period of two or three days, and I was like, what is that? Mm -hmm. I said, oh, you guys are suffering from PTSD. Mm -hmm. And when you Every, start talking about it out loud, too, when everybody you has about a story. It. Everybody yeah. has a story. And so I think this is a watershed <laughs> moment. And if we make this just about Harvey Weinstein, then it, we will have lost this moment. Oprah's friendships with controversial figures like Russell Simmons have been a topic of intense scrutiny. Simmons, among others in her circle, has faced allegations of misconduct, leading critics to question Oprah's judgment and associations. Social media discussions often focus on the implications of her close ties with such individuals, suggesting that her influence might inadvertently lend credibility to those with troubling pasts. The friend who she keeps in her corner, specifically the predatory men who she keeps in her corner. Some of those predatory men include Harvey Weinstein and Russell Simmons. I think we all are very aware of what Harvey Weinstein has done. But in 2021, actress Rose McGowan, who has been a very outspoken voice, a part of the Me Too movement, called Oprah out for her association to Harvey Weinstein. Rose described Oprah as fake and not the trustworthy woman that she claims to be. And if Harvey Weinstein wasn't bad enough, Oprah Winfrey had no problem being associated with Russell Simmons, who has been accused of R word by 15 different women. And he also began dating the mother of his children when she was not a legal adult. But Oprah had no problem rubbing shoulders and even working with Russell Simmons until the pressure got just too hot for him and he fled the country. But Rose McGowan was not the only celebrity to call out Oprah and her friendship with Harvey Weinstein. The singer Seal also took to social media to call Oprah out for her association to predatory men. Seal has claimed that Oprah Winfrey was fully aware of what her pal Harvey Weinstein was doing. And when he was exposed for what he had done, Oprah tried to position herself as the solution instead of understanding that she was a part of the problem. In 2007, Oprah Winfrey faced a major scandal involving her leadership academy for girls in South Africa. Social media rumors and critics allege that the school, which she personally oversaw, was involved in trafficking the young girls who attended. These serious allegations cast a shadow over her philanthropic efforts and led to a storm of negative publicity. In 2007, Oprah Winfrey opened up a board school in South Africa, the academy had salons and gyms in it. Allegations have surfaced that this school was a front for child trafficking. These girls would be allegedly groomed to be ready for sale. Oprah handpicked the young girls who attended her school based on physical appearance, but it wasn't long until word got out about what really the school was about. Turns out these young girls were being touched or broken in by one of the employees there to allegedly get them ready for clients. Authorities found out about it and the employee was charged with 13 counts of getting inappropriate with kids. Turns out at least six girls aged 13 to 15 were allegedly systematically and ritualistically targeted. Oprah went on record saying she was going to look at the situation, but after her investigation, the employee was cleared of any wrongdoing and some allege Oprah had a hand in trying to cover it up. But these incidents continue to rock the school, including a newborn baby being found unalived at the school, which some say was for trafficking. Rapper 50 Cent publicly criticized Oprah Winfrey, particularly for her treatment of actress Monique. He accused Oprah of unfairly targeting Monique while giving a pass to other, more powerful individuals accused of similar or worse misconduct. This accusation fueled social media debates about Oprah's selective advocacy and alleged biases. Monique, why is she canceled? And then I, I know Tyler wouldn't support that. He never told anybody, nobody not to work with her. When I talked to him, he was like, no, nah, I, I never told no one not to work with her. And I said, but you Tyler Perry and you never told anyone to work, work with him. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, I never looked at it like that. Because I said, you, you just got to consider how, like, how strong your influence is at that point. Moreover, the allegations of misconduct at Oprah Winfrey's School for Girls in South Africa have been a significant point of criticism. To create almost an uncomfortably luxurious space 
for these very young girls. Since in 2011, Oprah's School for Girls was in the news yet again after the body of a newborn baby was found inside of a backpack of one of the students at Oprah's school. This 17 year old student had given birth while in attendance at Oprah's school for girls and all nine months of her pregnancy went somehow undetected by staff. And speaking that this is a all girls school, it is very concerning to see a young teen pregnant. There have also been other allegations of abuse happening at Oprah Winfrey School, including staff members grabbing students by their necks and pushing them up against walls and using physical discipline as punishment. There have also been allegations that many of the girls who attend Oprah School for Girls end up going missing. That's it for today's video. Stay tuned until next time.